All right, now we're gonna use angle relationship to solve for variables. So let's review. What type of angle relationship was congruent? What type of angle relationship was congruent? You are right, it is vertical. What type of angle relationship equaled 180 degrees? Supplementary, it forms a straight line. What type of angle relationship equals 90? Complementary. So we're going to use those relationships, those three, to solve some equations. So I want you to look at number one. The first step I want you to do is label what kind of relationship it is. So let me give you a sec. Label what kind of relationship that is. It is complementary. This box, remember, tells us it's a right angle. Right angles equals 90 degrees. So we know it is complementary because it equals 90 degrees. So those two angles have to equal 90. Add it together. If you go back to the definition, which I'm going to show the definition, complementary angles are two angles with measures that have a sum of 90 degrees. So these two angles have to have a sum of 90 degrees. Sum means add. So 5x plus 6 plus 2x has to have a sum of 90 degrees. So the first step when solving an equation is to add like terms. If you cover up this side of the equation, what are my like terms? 5x plus 2x. 5x plus 2x is 7x. And we're going to bring everything else down. So plus 6 equals 90. Now, since we don't have any like terms, we're going to need to move the numbers to the right-hand side. So you do the opposite when you're crossing over the equal sign. So I want you to subtract 6 on both sides. Because you need x's on one side and numbers on the other. So 90 minus 6 is 84. Divide by 7 because you want to get x by itself. And you should get 12. We divide by 7 because that's 7 times x. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to write that down. So we're reviewing on doing the equations. So let's look at number two. I want you to think about what relationship is number two? What relationship is number two? You're right, it is supplementary. It forms a straight line. So it is supplementary. Hold on, my computer died. So it is supplementary. So that means if we look at the definition, the two angles have a sum of 180. So these two angles have to have a sum of 180 degrees. So we're going to say 2x plus, because I have to have a sum, 3x plus 10 equals 180 degrees. First step is to always add like terms. If we see anything up here, what are our like terms? You're right. 2x plus 3x. So if we have 2x's plus 3x's, we have 5x's. 
and we're going to bring everything else down. So we have our X's on one side and we need to put on, move our numbers to the other side. So how are we going to move plus 10? We're going to subtract it. Subtract 10 from both sides. And we're going to divide by 5. So x should equal 34. x should equal 34. So I'm going to give you a few more minutes to write that down. The supplementary equals 180 degrees. All right, our last example. So I want you to think about what this example is. What do we think this is? It is vertical. They are across from each other at an intersecting point of two lines. So if we look back, let's look back at our notes we look back at it, vertical angles are congruent. And remember, I said congruent means they equal. So we know 2x plus 25 equals 3x minus 10. So now we have, we have no common terms on either side of the equal sign. So we have to move x's to one side, numbers to the other. So let's move 3x to both sides. I'm going to subtract 3x, because that's a positive 3 right there. So I'm going to subtract 3. This cancel. 2 minus 3 is negative 1x. And bring everything else down. Since I moved x's from to the left-hand side, I have to move numbers to the right-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. So that cancels. I have negative 1x minus 35. Now I can't have a negative x. I can't have a negative 1x. So what do I have to do? What do I have to do because I can't have a negative 1x? You're right. I divide by negative 1 on both sides. So x equals 35. So we're going to try to work some more equations with working with angle relationships.